Hello everyone and welcome back. I'll try to keep the channel updated as usual with two uh, videos per week of 3D. I don't know if I can keep that up right now because work as usual is um, taking on a lot of time, but I'll try. For now at least. Yeah, uh, today's video is about the Genesis 2 mail again. Um, I figured that the first thing or one of the important things I things I need are uh, hairdos. I don't want to do bold um, men. I don't also want to do bold women for that uh, matter. But yeah, so I started with the hairdo. Also, this is um, a never mind. Um, yeah. And as you can see, the method that I'm currently going for is the usual uh, with tubes that I align at the head. Um, this particular uh, style is something that I found in a picture online, um, actually on a female picture, but I was thinking, hey, this would also look cool on a male character. Um, this is going to be the... Um, the head now the the hairdo of one of my NPCs in the next D and D campaign that I will start to uh, do next in, in the next few weeks. So I'm preparing a new campaign, and this is one of the NPCs. Basically, I also did a beard for this particular NPC or for this particular thing, but I didn't include it in the render, which you will see at the end. So. If you're just here for the render, as usual, skip to the last few seconds and check it out. Um, for everyone who is interested in what I'm doing here. Um, I also did the beard, but I didn't include it in this video because I am not yet satisfied with how it looks. Uh, for the hair itself, at some point I was thinking about adding additional smaller hairs like um, I did in the princess uh, hairdo that I have uploaded I don't know a few weeks or months earlier um, but as of now I haven't added those so this is uh, kind of um, uh, um, kind of to the fact that um, it takes a lot of extra time to do the textures to the UV maps and I um, I wasn't uh, I didn't really have the time for this so I was uh, going for the easier version and um, this looks really okay even without it. I added a few special hairs in it, but it's not um, it's not a hundred percent where it could be. So I guess at some point in the future, if I have enough time, I will uh, touch it up again. I will fix this. Maybe if I remember. This is all uh, about. Um, I have to remember that I want to actually touch up on pieces. So. I know that in a few videos I've said, okay, I will touch up on this, I will uh, redo this later. And in a lot of cases I haven't done it yet because either I forgot, um, because I moved on to different projects, and in some other cases because I um, didn't find the time yet to do it. But in most cases I just simply forgot that I wanted to do it. <laughs> wanted to do it. Um, so if, if you want, you can just... Uh, put everything where I said I'm gonna retouch it in the comments and uh, you will probably get a video of me uh, doing it all in one big session uh, or something but um, yeah so next the detail is as you can see I've done a few um, additional hair pieces on the on the front on the sides um, like like loose strands that are go that that were going down which you can see here and what I actually did is I basically just copy pasted and after giving the giving them UV maps and rearranging them a little bit. Also, what you can see is that even though I did UV maps for the part that I already had, I didn't um, yet give them a texture because I decided I want to have a single texture for everything. This is. I just way easier and way faster if I ever do the uh, redesigning in the in the end. So all of the hair will get a single texture in the end. 
What I also noticed, interestingly enough, is I checked how much work I need to do to do the to to adapt this style for the Genesis 2 female, and um, I haven't it in the video, but I actually loaded both um, models in hexagon, and it's actually remarkable how much of it overlaps. So basically, every hairstyle I ever did, doesn't matter the gender, I can simply import for the other one and edit and, and um, uh, make it a hairstyle and it will work because the overlap is so great so the the difference is so small that it's easily convertible it, either, either I convert it or I just simply uh, save it as, as a um, setup for the other one uh, yeah Regarding that, in the end, in the render, you will also see boots. I wanted to do the uh, boot that I did for the Genesis 2 male earlier, but for some weird reason, they are not properly in the in 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 my desk uh, um, in my desk stuff. So I right now I can't. I didn't couldn't use them. I will have to look up on that and. Uh, uh, see, uh, I have to basically just re-import them and uh, save them again. I just don't know why they are uh, so uh, non not working. I have a slight idea, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Yeah. Um, anyhow, as you can see, um, I, I've done the, uh, the, the front part of the hair first, which is going into a... Uh, tail and into some kind of, of, of hairdo and the uh, back part of the body so basically everything on the on the back of the head is loosely falling uh, down so it's it's a two part um hairdo you could say um yeah uh, again um the the big problem is um, in the in the back, I have instead of tubes, I have like cylinders who who close at the end, and in this case, instead of just uh, um, using um, a button for um, getting a whole line, uh, a whole segment uh, marked for uh, a seam, I have to manually uh, add every part because he sees the um, point, um, the the end of the hair as a um uh, as, as kind of a a a turn point and he just uh, would cut all the uh stuff in half so i don't want to uh, have that actually so i don't want to have um a, a cut up uh texture here so i have to manually do this yeah what you can see what else i did is i basically copy pasted um the hair a second time and made it a bit smaller and put it underneath the top hair uh, basically to, to just add a little bit of thickness and detail to the back of the hair so so, so the idea was to have a really have a full hairstyle um yeah it kind of looks a bit elven um which yeah kind of uh, what kind of the idea so um as you can see i've also added the um big tails hairstyle from the genus to female and you could already see how good this would fit the hum uh, the the male um um the male body and I just added um, a bit part of the of the Sarah's hairstyle which is the um elastic yeah this actually gave me a bit of trouble to move the end of the tail in the right position and I had to uh, move and and touch it up quite a bit but in the end it worked really okay ish um. Yeah, and that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or ideas, just let me know in the comments. Um, thanks for watching. I really hope to hear from you so far. I've included the um, the detail of the hair and also the render at the end. So thanks for watching. Um, see you guys around and have a nice day.